on today's episode. Like real sick to manage shit. You'd love it. Making your perfect chick. <laughs> Weird science. And we got Sierra Nevada torpedo. Stick around, fuck faces. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Makes sense. Hey, how you doing, John? Very good. Had a fun week. We watched Weird Science. Forgot what a great flick it was. I tried to recreate the whole half-naked Kelly LeBrock in my room deal. It just ended with me watching porn and a messy goo on my belly. Ew, Tom. It happens. Anyway, we got Weird Science and what beer? I, I know we said we were going to have Sierra Nevada Torpedo. But I went with the beer we drank last night, Stone Brewing. It's a double IPA called Viking Space Probe. Oh, thanks. So we told everybody we had one beer at the beginning of the show, and now we got another one. Way to go, fuckface. Extra alcohol. I liked it. So what we really haven't done much of is set up these movies. I figured if you're watching a horrible critiques and haven't seen the movie, you're either drunk or stumbled into this video after being under a rock for a few decades. Or you just came out of a coma. So anyway... Weird Science is pretty much summed up as a new age Frankenstein. Two geeks turn a bobby doll into Kelly LeBrock. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe this. Or a real life sex doll. That for some reason, we really don't know if they bang or not. Or synopsis time. Thanks. That being said, let's discuss the whole process. The scene with the two dudes putting a bra on their heads. Why are we wearing bras on our heads? Ceremonial. And creating a hot chick. With like a fucking Commodore 64 or something. Did you get a free toaster with this too? You, you'd figure we could do it with our iPhone these days. I've tried, not gonna lie. Here's the question. Where the fuck did they get the bras? Huh? They're in Wyatt's house. Only sibling being Chet. Which we'll get to momentarily. So are those his mother's bras? I, I never really thought of it that way. Maybe. I love my mother, but I don't want to play with her undies. Yeah, you're right. Chet's borderline West Virginia shit. Okay, beyond that... They get this shit to actually work. These ass wipes just watch her in the shower. If we're gonna have any kind of fun together, you guys would better loosen up. I'd be cranking my wank. Have her tied to the bed for hours. Like you could last hours. No, I mean after blowing my wad, I'd tie her up so she couldn't go nowhere. That's better. While I slept and reloaded. Get it? See what I did there? Brand recognition. Good job. The next scene, which I think is hilarious, is seen where Anthony Michael Hall, or Gary, talks about a girl. i tell you my story, man. He once liked, and named LeBrock's character after her, Lisa. Name my nuts, man. I'm not playing like with you. Charles, either, man. In the family jewel. In the family jewel, man. Worst oh, man. there is. Broke my heart in two. Which brings us to scene three. I have that scene which leads into Chet at home. This dude, buttwad. This establishes his character as a giant shithead. Chet. Or a giant shithead. I haven't done anything to you. Becomes your pile of shit. And the fact that he is still so mouthy. This isn't funny. You stupid bitch. That would be me. I'm not lying. I can assure you if I ever get murdered, you'll know I told that person to eat my cock before he killed me. I'll, I'll let people know at your funeral, buddy. I appreciate it, John. Anyway, the beer, huh? Really good. I'm going to have to give it 4.5 out of 6 in flavor. But six out of six for the extra buzz. Total of five out of six mugs. Yeah, if we're going strictly buzz, I'll have to give it six mugs. But on overall flavor, I'll give it 4.5 total. Good stuff, though. As far as the movie, I'm going with four out of five beers. Only knocking it because I can't create my own hot bitch. And some of the flick dates itself. I had to score higher. But all I could think about is that they're wearing Wyatt's mom's bras. It's okay for Gary, but weird. Well, weird science. Anyway, I'm going three out of five. I can't, I can't unsee that now. You really took the win out of your rating scale, huh? All right, then. Got a couple ideas for next week. But your pick. Really? You just saying that? No, really. Wedding crashes? Idiocracy or Karate Kid? Karate Kid's oh, pretty idiocracy, good. Idiocracy, right? You fucking asshole. Idiocracy it is. And beer? I'm not telling you. Till the day before when I pick it up. Wow, who's the asshole now? Lick my balls down. See you fellow assholes next week. Okay, Karate Kid? No, no, it's fine. Idiocracy it is. You're such a dick. Dick. <laughs>